everybody it is Abby here with another little video for you today I am doing an estate sale haul if you don't follow me on Instagram it is at Lady Abby Sarek in the description I'll put a little like note here um, I did a little poll as to whether or not you wanted to see an estate sale haul or a Madewell haul and the estate sale haul won by like 40 votes so that's what we're doing today. Uh, don't worry if you wanted to see the Madewell haul, that will be coming soon. I work there and since I've been back, I've bought a lot of stuff because <laughs> I get a pretty good discount. So that'll be coming too. But I went to a couple of state sales this weekend and I also have a couple things from an antique mall that we went to when we were at my aunt and uncle's cabin, not this past weekend, but the weekend before. And I have a super cool little Facebook marketplace find that I will be doing at the very end. So keep an eye out for that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I have a bunch of clothes, not a bunch of clothes, but a couple things of clothes, some jewelry, some home decor, some Christmas stuff. So keep an eye out. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like this video if you are enjoying this. And go ahead and give me a little subscribe if you're interested in the videos that I've put out so far. I will continue to be doing vintage stuff, uh, thrift with me's, some styling videos, some home decor stuff, some DIY, etc, etc. So if you are interested in any of that, go ahead and click the little subscribe button down here. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Hello. Alrighty, let's get into the haul part. I'm going to start with a couple pieces of clothing that I found, then go into some jewelry some Christmas things, and then we'll end with some home and kitchen stuff, and then my Facebook Marketplace find. So first I have this super cool little Montgomery Ward blouse. It is a little bit too big for me, but I could not pass it up because it was super, super pretty. I do kind of make it work when I tie it up and do like a little, like kind of I don't know, cowboy looking thing. Um, I'll insert a picture of what it looks like here, like I did last time. But it just has this super pretty floral print. I hope this is focusing and not totally just jacking up everything. But it is probably from the 70s. It's got the super cool dagger collar, as you will see in the next piece, which is this guy. So this one also has that super cool dagger collar, but this one's actually a men's shirt. This one I found, this was really like the only piece of clothing I found at the one estate sale that I went to. Um, it is just this super, as you can see, it like matches this aesthetic right now, but it's just a super beautiful flannel. I thought it would be super nice come fall time to just layer up with a lot of the clothes that I have, maybe like a turtleneck, a pair of nice jeans and some cool boots. And I just figured it's like nice and thick too, so I could actually get away with wearing it come 40 50 degree chicago weather and be able to actually stay pretty toasty because it is like a nice cotton like thickness to it this is the next piece i have it is a super cool quilted vintage military liner that i have a total copy of from madewell that i bought a couple weeks ago um but it is just a very cool authentic little liner it has the missing armpits which i know hold a very important purpose um t for keeping people cool but it's just like a super cool little piece i found this in the very back of the closet the second estate sale that i went to where i found nothing else but i just thought this was super cool and it was also like five dollars which also i guess seems kind of pricey for an estate sale but that's how estate sales go now because it's trendy people like me uh, but i just thought it was super cool it's gonna be a nice little layering piece in the fall i have a feeling it will actually keep me quite warm um, on those chilly fall days. Next I have some Christmas things. Um, seems a little silly, it's a little far off, but whenever I find cool vintage things, I like to snag them so that I have them for the future. Um, the first couple things are these ornaments. Um, this one is so silly, it's kind of ugly, but I just thought it would be kind of funny to get for my sister because she really loves owls. Um, yeah, again, kind of ugly, but kind of funny and kind of cute. Um, probably will not go on our Christmas tree. My mother will probably say absolutely not uh, because she likes her Christmas tree her way. This one I might actually be able to get her to put on the tree. It's a super cute little uh, London, England, Queen's Army man. 
Um, I don't know if that's correct. If I am incorrect and you're from the UK, please correct me. I do apologize. But it is just a super cute, super cool little guy that I thought would be cute. It is vintage. And yeah, it was a dollar. Both of these were a dollar. So I just thought, why the heck not get some cute ornaments out of the gig? And yeah, that is the first little bit of Christmas stuff. I have a couple more Christmassy things. Um, the first is this balsam for incense, which if you go to Madewell Boutiques, maybe Anthro, any store like that during Christmas time, you'll see kind of the replication of these guys. They are so old, so I don't even know if they're gonna burn anymore. But if they're not, I also thought the box was just super cute for decor. But they are balsam for our little incense sticks. I haven't opened it yet, so I don't know if the like little um, burner is in here. If it's not, I have one that I can use. But I just thought this was super cute. And again, it was a dollar because the state sales are crazy. Um, some are, some aren't. This one was. The one with the quilted liner was not. That one was pricey. But I also got these for a dollar. And these, I know some people are going to be like, what the freak are you thinking? But they are just cute to me. I love little latch hook things. Um, I have one on my wall if you've seen the picture of my room. But I just think they were super cute. I thought it'd be super cute hanging on my wall, one of them. And then I'd keep the other one for an another place when I have a home of my own. But it's just like this super cute little Santa decoration and super vintage. And I just really liked it for a dollar. And I figure if I don't use them, I can sell them once I start my little business. So these guys are super cute. Next, I have some jewelry. I think I'm going out of order, but that's okay. Cause I'm going with what I can find. Uh, the first thing is this super cute little locket that I found. I found this piece at an antique mall when I went to my aunt and uncle's cabin a couple weeks ago. And then I just had this gold chain um, from a thrift store from a couple years ago. And it was gold, it was only three bucks. And the little locket part was only like six bucks. So a beautiful gold necklace, nine dollars. That is the magic of thrifting and finding old things. And it's just, just super pretty. I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well, but it's just super pretty. That's that guy. Next, I have a bunch of little earrings that I don't know how well I'll be able to show you. Um, I'll just show you kind of one of each. Um, the first one is this little purple ball earring. And I don't know, not super my style, but pretty cute. And if I don't end up wearing them, I will probably end up selling them. The next ones are these super funny, cute, like costume jewelry, clip on earrings. They're all clip on or screw ons, um, which are kind of uncomfortable, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Uh, but these ones are super cute. They're just like little flowers. I thought they'd be fun to just throw on for an outfit that's kind of a little bit more boring and then just zhuzh it up with that. Next, I have these little screw on rose earrings. They're like little acrylic painted roses that um, again are screw on so they've got that little backing but they are just really pretty and I don't know if I'll wear them all that much. Um, oops, totally just dropped one but super pretty. I thought that they might be nice for a fancier event if I ever end up going to one again if the world goes back to normal. And then last but not least are these. These ones are actually probably my favorite. They are these little gold with pearl screw on earrings. They're just nice and simple. I'll take um, a video of what all of these look like because this might be totally blurry and horrible. Um, but yeah, that's those guys. Next, I have some super cute little owls. This lady had, I kid you not, like 400 plus owls in this house. I will insert a picture here of what her little like curio cabinet looked like. And this was not even all of them. <sighs> There were so many owls at this woman's house and she traveled all around the world. It was just crazy. There were rooms and rooms and rooms of clothes, like ugly clothes, not new, or like new, not vintage stuff. So not ugly, but like not what I was looking for, but like no joke rooms, 400 plus owls and a bunch of travel stuff. Like this lady lived such an interesting life, but my sister really loves owls. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that yet, but she really loves owls. And so I got her a bunch of little owl things I got this little ceramic one with a little a little broken ear, but I just thought it was adorable and had a little story. And then these two are just so freaking cute. 
I don't know if this is gonna focus or what, or if I'm just super blurry and it's a total hot mess, but this is just like so freaking cute and I just had to get them both because she really likes little things too. And so those are them. Next owl thing I have is this. It is just this silly, super cute little vase, like jar. Vase? No, not a vase. It could be a vase, but it's a jar. Or a jar? It's a freaking cup. I don't know what I'm doing, but it is just super cute, kind of funny. There was only one, which kind of sucked, because I would love a whole set of these. But I just thought this was like freaking adorable. Next, I have this beautiful, 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 beautiful teapot that I got at uh, the at at the antique mall when we went to Wisconsin. I can't tell if it's vintage. If it's not, that's kick ass. If it is, that's kick ass because I love it either way. It's just got this super cool top. It has no brand to it, so I don't I don't know. But I just thought this was beautiful for a future home of mine. Um, I have a lot of stuff for a future home that I currently do not have. So if you wanna see a video of all the stuff that I have in my basement and me going through it, cause I need to do that soon, just give a little like comment and tell me if you wanna see that. Cause I kinda of wanna do that and I'll do it either way. I'll film it too. So just let me know if you wanna see that. Next, I have probably one of my favorite things that I found. Um, it is this super freaking cool vintage jewelry box. It has this beautiful slate suede and then this beautiful jacquard, like, I don't know. I don't even know what this is. It's just like a beautiful freaking piece of fabric in the middle of it. But it is this super incredible little vintage jewelry box. It has plenty of room for all of my rings and my earrings and all the jewelry that I have because I have a lot. And then I have a spot to put all my necklaces because my necklaces don't have a home right now. Um, but I also have a really amazing cool one for my aunt that I got like oh my god like 10 years ago and I still use that and I'll probably use both because honestly I have that much jewelry so this is one that I found next I have this guy this is a super cool just like wood carving wall hanging I got this at the antique mall as you can see I still have the sticker on it was ten dollars which is like crazy but I plan to hang this on my wall once I get my mirror hung it's been like four months it's fine I had to move my desk in here for school it's a whole ordeal but I'm gonna hang it I'm super excited I love wood I have a lot of wood in my room if you've seen so this is just gonna go nicely last but not least I have my Facebook marketplace find this was $15 for this if you don't use Facebook marketplace you really gotta start because you can find so much cool stuff for literally no money because people usually don't know the value of the stuff they're selling so you can find some really cool things and I don't know, get a quick buck if you wanna sell some stuff too. But I need to do some DIYing to this guy. It is modern, which is nice. So I know that the cord is not gonna like catch on fire for me, super plus. Um, but I plan to sand this guy down and refinish it just a little bit and then take this apart and uh, spray paint this gold because I'm not like a super silver person. But this matches nicely with the one I thrifted a couple weeks ago, um, if you saw that on my Instagram stories. But yeah, this is going to be a super cool little addition to my room. And I'm excited that I found this for $15 on Facebook Marketplace. Alrighty, so that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you did, make sure to give it a little like and then subscribe if you're interested in seeing more content like this. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.